What is going on today, guys? And today I have an absolute banger for you. So today's video, I'm gonna go over the exact nutrition metric that I have developed based around metabolic adaptation that has successfully operationalized fat loss in men. So now I'm gonna break down the exact funnel. We're gonna break it down step by step and show you exactly what my clients go through step by step. I'm gonna show you a couple clients that have went through the metric and actually the client testimonials that they had going through the metric itself. And then we're gonna actually show you the metric itself from start to finish. So if you guys are new to this video, what's going on? My name is Adam. I've successfully operationalized fat loss in men using metabolic priming. And if you have not watched the video pinned in my profile, um, go ahead and watch that video. It'll kind of show you, tell you about who I am, um, what uh, my program is capable of, and the program is capable of getting its clients, all right? So that video will be pinned at the top of my profile in my YouTube channel and in my Instagram bio as well, all right? So I've, wor I've worked with over 100 men and I've successfully lost 350 pounds of body fat in the last six months alone. So I'm going to show you a couple stories from clients that have went through my program in the last six months, some actual uh, client results, and then we're going to break down the actual metric itself. So at the end of the video, there's going to be a link to fill out a consultation call with me um, to book a one-to-one -one call with me and if you're interested in the program. So if you are interested in the program, um, make sure to, one, watch that video pinned in my profile, and two, do not show up to the call wanting more information. All my information is available for you in my content, in my YouTube channel, on my Instagram. Um, so simply go sell yourself, and when you are ready to make the step and really ready to make the step in the commitment, so fill out a time to book the call, um, but please do not waste my time, okay? So with that being said, let's get right into the video. My client, my client transformations are absolutely disgusting, right? They're absolutely disgusting, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about them. And so like I said, if you are um, interested in one-to-one -one coaching, go ahead, sell yourself within my content, book a call when you're ready, and we'll get you going literally tomorrow. Okay, but do not show up the call wanting more information that is in please respect my time. Okay, so let's get right into the video. So anyways, we have a couple client transformations that I want to kind of go through. One, my client, my client Wilmer here who has seen a body recomposition using my metric funnel. He's 165 in both of these videos. And here's a quick testimonial from Wilmer himself. All right. So yeah, man, how's the journey been so far with us? It's been good. Uh... I couldn't have done it without you. It's, it's, you know, uh, I was before I was just uh, lifting weights and uh, thinking I was following, you know, an app on online about working out, and but I didn't have the nutrition part of it as far as how many calories, proteins, carbs I should be eating. So I just kept looking the same and thinking I was going to get better and bigger, and it never happened, man. Until I found you, you know. Hey man, dude, well, I think first of all, man, you've been an amazing client to work with, seriously. Like, you're very hands off, like, I don't have to. So another client transformation that I went through the program and used the, the metric that I have developed is my client Kevin. So Kevin here is 30 pounds down eating a thousand more calories per day using metabolic priming. If you guys do not know what metabolic priming, there's a video in my YouTube channel outlining what metabolic priming is. This video is simply going over the metric. So I have a client testimonial from Kevin himself. To give you a little bit of the legal thing, like you've been eating almost 1200 calories more than where you're at when you're stuffing your plateau, right? So like, if, yeah. if I was to tell you, if, you if, I, if I was to tell you six months ago, you know, hey, like today you should be eating 1200 more calories, you're down what, 20 pounds? Uh, yeah. 20 yeah, pounds? Yeah, 20 pounds from when I made you more. Yeah, almost, almost at that 25, 25, 30 pounds yeah. mark. So if I, was, if I was to tell you like three, like, you know, six months ago, hey, you're going to be 1,200 more calories, you're going to be down 25 pounds, what would you have said? I wouldn't have to that, man. I would have been like, oh, we're trying to work. Yeah, big time, man. It was just, you know, that's a, that, that shows the importance in, in your knowledge and your experience, you know, because... I mean, I could, I was, I was starving myself, honestly. I was starving myself trying to lose weight, trying to lose weight, and I wasn't losing any weight, you know, like I was just saying the same thing, the same. I was like, maybe drop the calories, maybe drop the calories, and then you come in and you're like, here, let's give you more food. And let's do it this way. And I was just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So another client testimonial that we have is my client Tristan here. So Tristan here is the exact same way in both of these photos. He's went through a metabolic priming phase. He's eating a thousand more calories today per day, and he's 140 in both of these photos. So here's a client uh, testimonial from Tristan himself. <laughs> So a couple more client transformations that we have within the program in the last six months is going to be my client Mason here who is down 10 pounds eating 150 more calories per day in the metabolic priming phase in his first two weeks. My client Ethan here who's up 20 pounds in his growing phase. My client Byron here is down 15 pounds eating 1200 calories more per day in his metabolic priming phase. And then my client Mason who is same weight using the metabolic priming phase up 1300 more calories a day at the exact same weight and then my client christian here who is 15 pounds up eating a thousand more calories per day and then my client devin who's 31 pounds down eating 1300 more calories per day in the metabolic priming phase my client travis who is 30 pounds down in the in he did a full metabolic reset went through the metabolic priming phase and now we're in a fat loss phase my client steven here who is 18 pounds up eating 900 calories more per day in the metabolic priming phase and then my client Lane here, who's in his growing phase, up 10 pounds. And then my client Connor here, who's up 13 pounds in his growing phase. My client Chase here, who's down 13 pounds in his metabolic priming phase. My client Jake here, who's down 10 pounds, eating 300 more calories per day in the first two weeks of his, of his plan with my program. And then my client Ron, who's down 10 pounds in his fat loss phase. And then my client Chance here, who's up 20 pounds in his growing phase. My client Phil, who's down 45 pounds, eating 1,200 calories more per day in his metabolic priming phase. My client Dan, who's down 10 pounds, eating 300 more calories per day in his metabolic priming phase three weeks into his program. And then my client Addison here, who is the same weight in his body recomposition phase in 205 versus 205. And my client Byron right here down 15 pounds, 1,200 more calories a day in a metabolic priming phase. So the client results speak to them for themselves, man. My, the client results speak for themselves. They are all using this metric that I've developed that has operationalized fat loss and has granted them access to actually gaining more metabolism, increasing their metabolism, increasing their metabolic structure, getting their calories up, allowing them to eat more, burn more body fat, and, burn more, and build more muscle in the process, okay? So let's kind of get in the weeds with the actual nutrition metric itself. So Within the nutrition metric, the first thing we do for all of our new clients is a data collection week, right? So we do measurements, photos, and weigh-ins. We do caloric output, caloric intake, goal setting, and activity level and lifestyle, which means that, you know, your, your job or how active you are with your job. And we do all our data collections, right? So me, as a coach, I do the data calculations, right? I determine the BMR, determine your macronutrient proof profile that's going to hit that bullseye um, with your, your macronutrient profile that will give you the good body recomposition, determine activity level, set your daily goals and daily strategies to help you hit what set what we need to do on a day-to-day -day basis to help you accomplish what we came to accomplish over a weeks, weeks, months period. And then we have the client start date. So on the client start date, we do one of three things. We either do a caloric deficit, we do a caloric structure shop or a caloric surplus, right? So within the data calculation and data collection, one, we do a, intake, a caloric intake maintenance assessment week, right? Which means that one, 
I calculate how many calories that you're eating per day. We'll say we do a three to seven week, uh, seven day period where I, make, where I make you track your calories for a certain allocated amount of time. I take those calories, I add them all up, and I divide them by how many days we actually tracked, right? So then I have an average caloric intake. So now that I have your average caloric intake, based upon your goals, one, I give you a protein goal and a fat goal. So if protein goal is calculated by 1.2 to 1.4 times your body weight, Fat goal is calculated by 0.4 times your body, body weight to regulate hormone levels, to regulate metabolism, to um, re regulate T3, T4, metabolism, thyroid, T3, um, and testosterone, right? So fat goal regulates metabolism. My clients are on a relatively higher protein diet. So I have done studies, and all the studies show that clients that eat 1.2 to 1.4 opposed to your typical one pound per body weight see a higher catabolic effect on body fat, similar to the over counter fat burner. So we set with you a 1.2 to 1.4 times your body weight, a 0.4, time, uh, 0.4 fat goal times your body weight to regulate hormone levels, and then we backfill the rest with carbs to meet what we're trying to meet with our goals, right? So... Let's say X client comes to me and he's been eating severely low amount for extremely long amount of time, right? We're eating 1500 calories. So one, I, then, I therefore give a protein goal, a fat goal, backfill the rest of carbohydrates to meet what you're already eating, and then we go into the metabolic priming phase. Or we do, a, which will be a caloric structure swap. Or let's say X client has been eating, you know, typically from a range of, you know, average to low, amount of calories. We do what we do a calorie deficit, which means we slow the metabolism down and then we start working back up so we can therefore catch the metabolism up in the process, right? So, or we do a caloric, a caloric surplus, which means we're trying to go into a growing phase. We're trying to really build muscle, but based upon your goals, I set my clients with there's data implementation on their start date. And we always go into the metabolic priming phase. So within the metabolic priming phase, we focus on hormonal priming and body recomposition, right? So we try to, one, get your hormones, hormones optimizing at a higher rate. We're, get, we're getting your body to go from energy conserving mode to energy burning mode. And we start working your calories up from where you're starting to catch your metabolism in the process, right? Because once I can gain, gain control of your metabolism as your coach using, using the nutrition that I give you, I'm able to manipulate your metabolism take control of your metabolism and use it to our advantage, right? So as we're starting to work up in the metabolic priming phase, we're catching your metabolism, we're working your body up, we're getting your body from energy conserving mode to energy burning mode and getting your body to burn food at a very high rate. And then once we get those calories up to a certain amount, now we have more calories to work with as opposed to Let's say X client comes to me eating 2,000 calories, right? If we were to go right into a fat loss phase where we start drafting the calories in a surplus, we'd have to go to 19, 18, 17, and then we're kind of handcuffing ourselves because we don't have many calories to work with. As opposed to how we operationalize it, we use the metabolic priming phase, which means we go 2,000, 21, 22, all the way up to three to almost 32, 3,300, building more muscle, creating more hormonal priming and giving you a good body recomposition. And therefore, when you're in, a, in the metabolic priming phase, you'll be building more muscle. That muscle will begin to push against that skin a little bit more, make you appear tighter, make you appear leaner. And then now we have more calories to work with when we go back into a fat loss phase right? So X client comes to me eating 2000 calories. I give him a caloric structure swap. We start working them up in the metabolic priming phase. We work them up from 21 all the way to 32 to 33, depending on his height, age, weight, and goals. And therefore we focus on building good muscle, preparing the body for a cut and giving the body a good structure and a good base when we start cutting from and going into a more structured fat loss phase. So a lot of my clients, when we optimize hormones, we optimize your metabolism, see a drastic increase in body fat and a drastic increase in weight by simply pro promoting more metabolic structure and promoting your metabolism to grow and to go burn more food at a very high rate. Right, so we cut cal we cut cardio very low, and we start working your calories up, making sure the body adheres to the food. We work it up slowly, and I give you calories based upon how you look, how you feel, and then also what our weight is at for the day. Right, and so at my clients check in with me once once a week, and when they check in, I get their weight, I get their measurements, I get I get the caloric burn they've had, and therefore I know if I should give them more calories or not. 
right? And so as we're starting to work up in the metabolic priming phase, we're starting to prime the body, build good muscle in the process. We're starting to get that t skin very tight, very lean, um, that almost that suction cup dry look that you get when you, you know, you see that people like online had how they have that like sucking suction cup dry skin. That is because they have the muscle mass to fat ratio, right? So people that are in a skinny fat range, that's simply just a mis a uh, operationalized by not having enough body fat to fat ratio. So we simply need to increase the actual muscle mass to decrease the actual body fat look, right? So if you have more muscle mass than you appear to have less body fat. That's why bodybuilders in their off season have perfect abs, right? Because they have mature muscle that pushes against that skin and makes you appear much leaner, right? So we work on building more muscle, creating more of a difference between calories, getting your calories up so we can set ourselves up for a good fat loss phase, priming the metabolism, building good muscle in the process, getting, getting rid of some body fat in the process, and that's how we create, one, the structure for our, our fat loss phase, and we get our hormones optimized, I catch your metabolism in the process, and now X client goes from 2,000 2, calories to 32, 3,300 calories, and now they're down you know, X amount in body fat, and they're up X amount in muscle mass. They're stronger, much leaner, they feel much better, and now they have good structure to go into a fat loss phase, right? So we go in one, two, based on your goals, we go into one, one or two directions. We go into a structured fat loss phase when you get your calories up, which means we go into a fat loss phase and we start adding cardio and we start lowering food. So now that we have a lot of calories to work with and we've been doing no cardio, we have tools in our tool belt to utilize. We have a bunch of calories to take from and we have a bunch of cardio to use. Right? So therefore, we can use those as tools to create even more of a difference and get even leaner. This is how my clients are seeing 50, 60 pounds of fat loss over their journey within the program. So once we go into the fat loss phase, we operationalize fat loss, right? So we lower the calories and add cardio, right? So if we have a weight freeze, we do one of two things. We, one, we lower the calories and we add activity. And if that works, we go back into the fat loss phase. If we add or lower, at, or lower calories and add activity and our weight becomes stagnant, we do a structured refeed, which a structured refeed is operationalized by one, creating a spike in insulin, a spike in metabolism and getting your body to one, stop going from energy conserving mode back into energy burning mode and making sure the body is staying in energy burning mode, right? So a structured refeed is great because one, once your body gets a structured refeed, gets more calories than you've been consuming on a structured basis, then it'll start, it'll spike your metabolism, get your body to burn a little bit more. And then for the next few days, your body will be burning more calories. Then we go back into a fat loss phase, right? And so if by chance that we have a structured refeed and our body does not adhere to that, which means that um, our, weight, our weight spikes way up or our weight doesn't move, that is a clear telltale sign that our body has, one, drowned its metabolism out and lowered its metabolism too low, so we need to go back into a metabolic priming phase, which the second metabolic priming phase won't be as long as the first. We get your calories just up enough to get your metabolism to spike a little bit, and then once your metabolism starts to spike a little bit, we start to see like weight uh, plateau, then we can go back into the fat loss phase back, and then if we have weight freeze, outer lower activities, weight, weight stagnate, structured refeed, and so we've created a metric to operationalize that, and so why we need a plan and why this metric is one of the best metrics for fat loss and how I have um, operationalized fat loss in men is because we know which direction to go when you hit a, hit a road. We know which direction to go if you hit a plateau. We never have a question on what should we should do next, right? We do, we say, you know, weight freeze, add all activities, wait for the body to respond, weight stagnant, structured refeed, structured refeed works, back to a fat loss phase, structured refeed doesn't, we go back to metabolic priming phase, we focus on hormonal body priming and body recomposition, back in the fat loss phase, and this is how people get extremely, extremely lean over time, right? So let's say that, one, we get a client in a fat loss phase and we get him down to extremely low amount of calories and he's super happy with his body, he's in, in stoked about the progress, he's stoked with the transformation, and so what we do is to get him to his goal physique and to get him to adhere to sustainability and to get him 
to have sustainable progress within the program is we go back into metabolic priming phase. We focus on hormonal priming and body recomposition while keeping your weight the same or lower than what it's at and getting your calories up to a comfortable amount to where your body is comfortable. You have the physique you've always wanted and now you have sustainability and you have more calories to work with so your body won't uh, rebound or increase any weight. And so after that, we go into our goal physique, which client end date, sustainability, better health, sustainable results, nutritional knowledge, more confidence, better dating, longevity, more discipline, understanding discipline and how discipline works with understanding diet and adhering to a plan for a good amount of time, look good, feel good, client testimonial, um, happy client, right? So let's say an ex-client wants to go into a growing phase, right? So we get him, he gets calories up, ex-client goes, comes to me eating 2,000 calories, we successfully, one, um, raise his calories, keep his body weight at or below where we're at in the metabolic priming phase, and then we go into a growing phase, which means we add more calories into we can actually grow and see the weight start to go up. And if our weight freezes, we add calories or we do cheat meals. And so we either add calories to the point where it's too much for one, uh, one client to get in. And so we have to add cheat meals through the week, one cheat meal of you know, 1,000, 1,500 calories to have a little bit more calories on a weekly basis, right? So we ha- that helps with getting a good amount of calories in, but staying to a good diet and keeping the body healthy and just getting a spike in calories for you know one meal a week that'll put you up in a weekly in a weekly perspective, a thousand to fifteen hundred calories, help your weight grow a little bit, help your weight fluctuate up a little bit, right? So weight freezes, add or add calories or do cheat meals. That works to so go back into the growing phase. Weight freezes, add add, cheat, add calories or cheat meals. So what happens if we're adding calories, we're adding cheat meals, and nothing happens, our weight becomes stagnant, right? So if our weight becomes stagnant, that is a telltale sign that we need to go to a mini cut or a metabolic reset, right? A metabolism reset, which means we, we cut the calories super fast, we kill the metabolism, and so we, one, give a good body recomposition in the process, cut the, cut the calories super quick, you slow your metabolism down with that, and then when we go back into a growing phase, now our metabolism is lower, and when we add more food, we're able to add more weight because our metabolism is lower, right? And so that is how we operationalize the growing phase, right? And then um, with the growing phase, we can go back into the metabolic priming phase, back to the fat loss phase if X client wants to go into a fat loss phase after the growing phase, back into the, the metric with the fat loss phase, back into the metabolic priming phase, back into the goal physique, right? So the whole catalyst within the funnel, right? And the whole consistency within the funnel and the only way that this funnel actually works consistently is with accountability and consistency from the client, right? So this does not work for clients that are inconsistent with their diet, cannot follow a plan and are fluctuating in their food intake, right? So you have to have consistency and accountability with your specific plan to actually have the metric work and the funnel work for X client, right? So let's say X client is one, following the plan and he's under eating in the metabolic priming phase, right? He's under eating and then I give him more calories. Well, now we have a bigger difference between the calories that I'm giving him, which one could create more body fat production, an overcreation of um, you know not enough metabolic structure to burn those calories, and the body starts to put the put those calories back off, and therefore we gain weight too quick and add body fat. Right. So let's say X client is overeating on his plan in the metabolic priming and the coaching and decisions department. Right. If he's overeating and I give him more calories, it's simply there's nothing that's going to happen, right? Nothing's going to happen if he's overeating. So the whole accountability and consistency department within the coaching decisions department is the most important thing about the metric itself. So this metric is not for everybody. If you cannot follow a plan and you cannot stick to a diet, then this plan is just simply not for you. I have tons of information in my program on how to follow the plan, how to implement the plan, and how all the information in the world to implement the plan. It's simply up to the client to depending on how much progress he wants to make if he follows a plan or not and how uh, how consistent he's going to be within his program, right? So 
That is the entire breakdown of the metric funnel, the clients that have went through the metric funnel, and the progress that I have that I have seen with my clients using my nutrition metric funnel that I've created that is operationalized fat loss in men, right? So if you guys are still in the shadows watching this video, if you are interested in my one-on-one -on -one coaching, there's going to be a link in the description down below for you to fill out a consultation form. We'll jump on a call and we'll get you onboarded, right? My information and all everything about my coaching program is simply in my content, all my YouTube and all my Instagram, right? Simply go sell yourself, right? This program is not for everybody. This program is people who are dedicated and wanting to stick to a plan and can actually stick to a plan. People that come to me and cannot stick to the plan do not make great progress with my program, right? So if you're a dedicated individual and you are wanting to lose body fat and you want to use an actual metric and action proven way to lose body fat, this is the metric for you. My program is the program for you. This is the last program that you will ever need as a client, right? Because it has operationalized fat loss and creates sustainable results across the board for every single one of my clients, right? So. That is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys liked today's video. Um, if you are new to this channel, like I said, my name is Adam. I have successfully operationalized fat loss in men using metabolic priming. The link to my script and the link to my coaching is going to be down below. Um, but that's the end of today's video, guys. Have a good day um, and enjoy today's video.